So guys, I just got my delivery here from Shortlean Systems. Um, actually, next day delivery, even though they were saying online that uh, due to the coronavirus, they can't guarantee next day delivery, but it came literally the next day. So happy days. And um, yeah, we got this lovely new overspray kit with the 50 degree fan jets and um, I got a spare set as well because for some reason I break them all the time but that's just me so that's all the components that come in the kit I gonna assemble it now and then um, I'm gonna show you how I gonna use it so guys um I already clicked in the uh, fan jets into this uh, it was quite simple and easy um just don't go too rough because uh, sometimes I have the tendency to go and just put too much force into it but it's okay and then you basically stick in the hose tube and you can use a lighter as well to heat up the plastic all right so God, I'm struggling. I'm getting a weakling due to the coronavirus. So, God, it's not that easy, is it? I might use a lighter. So, guys, I got a lighter and it was much easier to be picking it on, right? So, I'm going to try the same thing on this bit here. Now, if you do that and you break it, I take no responsibility, guys. Just to say that. All right. No. That's it. Then we click the two in together. And then you put this into your quick lock adapter of your um, Gardner brush head and the, um, the thing that is uh, adapted onto your pole. And then you slide this in, I presume. And that's it. Ah, there you go. Very easy. And then you just stick that into it, tighten it, and done. So I'm going to try this out now today on a commercial um, job because they have really big, huge uh, class panels there. Um, there's hundreds of them. So this should help me to rinse the class more efficiently and quicker. And um, the class is quite hydrophobic as well. So happy days. I'm going to try it out. So guys, I have the um, spray kit here and my brush it. And as you can see, the spray kit here has a little screw that goes in. Right. And um, that needs to click into the side hole here. I don't know if you can see it. So you just stick it in like that. Steve Lee is quite, is quite hard to be making a joke about that. Sticking it in here. And then you screw it in. You screw it in again. And then uh, you just go that it is flush in there. Right? And that's it. And uh, it's really stable. And we're going to try it out now. So guys, I'm currently here at Stephen Lee's residence and we're trying out the new um, pan jets that I bought and we're going to see how Stephen is using it, how he's getting used to it and if he likes it or not. So there's Stephen Lee, trying it out now. I have the DA controller on 40 at the moment which is plenty. Give it a good scrub, Stephen. What? Nothing. <laughs> <laughs> you see, all I'm concerned about, Harry, Yes. Is uh, rinsing too high. Yes, I know. Because like, if I go, if, like, what I did there is, I turned it on to wet the brush, and then turned it off, just scrub the top frame like that, 
and that bit there and then turn it on for the rest and and then to go like that exactly because otherwise if i was to come along here like to a window and that's my whole point of of overspray bars like if i was to come along here and just go like this like look where that water is like it's spraying the top of the wall. Yeah, it's just way high. But that's why I was explaining to you, I only use that for co commercial class, like, you know? But the good thing, <laughs> the good thing about, uh, it will go on to any size gardener brush. Exactly. And remember, so even you can, you can be getting the lower, r lower, smaller rinse bar as well and that'll just be over the brush head and that's it yeah does it matter if you rinse too high um as long as you rinse it like pretty there, good you're okay like fine but what about there where it's wet the top water, as long like, as you rinse it really quite hot like it's okay you know like is that going to come down in five minutes time and make it dirty yeah, well, you can ring me and explain it to me then. I give out and want my money back, Harry. Exactly. <laughs> Even though you are doing it for free with my purified water. <laughs> That's because I'm low on water because there's been no rain. There you go. So look, if I push it there, it does hit the top there. You have to it's brush. not quite as bad yeah. compared to going like that. But, um, but uh, so I do like it. But look, that's not as neat at the top. Like, look at that spray pattern hitting that. Yeah. Like, it's it's wet and... Like, if you were just to go to a top of the frame that you hadn't washed, mm. and you went like that, like, it's a messy spray. It is, surely. But it could be good on big, massive commercial glass. But on domestic stuff, it just feels messy. <laughs> <laughs> It just absolutely soaked me. <laughs> you mop it. <laughs> bye. Bye bye. Right, bye bye. Into the new van. Off you go. You just want to see the new electric grills that you also have here. So Steve, are you gonna be be getting these down or rinse back? No. No. Because I'm, a, because I'm a fussy git. Are you now? Yeah, and like, I think it's just too messy for me. Right. That I think, um, like spraying too high. I don't know. I don't. A lot of my commercial stuff isn't massive, massive panes of glass. It's just like normal house windows. It's just that. Yeah. Yeah, that's right. So I don't have like the walls. Of, Awards for that. Like, do I? Nah, like a lot of my commercial I, stuff. I got far more than you, I think. All right, Jason. Oh, yeah. All right, man. There's the neighbor. Anyway. Um, yeah, so I don't sort of, you know, I don't think I will purchase. But I tell you something, it's so handy for class that you have to clean high up three to four story high, like, you know? Yeah. And I've but also you know used it with the swivel. You know. the, the only thing the the I like the traditional two pencil jets, yes. and the only other thing that I like apart from that is I did like the X line rinse bar that was in the middle that had like ten holes in it or something. Uh, I like that because it gave like a really nice line across the brush for rinsing. But you'd have to have the pump up on 70 or something because there were so many mm. but then you could rinse faster so maybe you're not using that much more water um that was good but then the the bro i didn't like the brush itself mm. so the brush itself let down the rinse bar but maybe you could fit that to other brushes that wouldn't be as bad exactly but so, uh, that like it's a very it's a good idea it's very it's, an, it's a simple idea it's a bit of plastic ah. Like that yeah. fits two fan jets into. <clears throat> it's it is rigid, like it's not going anywhere. Exactly. But for me, it's just too messy. Well, if you do like co like really high commercial class, it's good. Dickard, I wouldn't use it on something there like that now, you know. Because, 
like it might like those drops on the top of the window might not come down it will not streak it, it might not if streak. you rinse it properly it will not streak I don't know not so we will hard. see not I so will hard. let you guys know when he rings me back later to complain all right oh look so guys, I'm back from Stephen Lee now, and it was nice to chat to him and see the opinion from the master himself, and um, I totally agree with Stephen. Um, I wouldn't really use that spray rinse bar on residential clouds for the simple reason that it could uh, streak from the top frame down because you're just over spraying everywhere, but it's really handy on commercial windows. I'm gonna show you a photo now of a job I've done recently here. And I done their three story window cleaning and um, I had a Swiffle gooseneck as well. And it saved me loads of time and water as well. So that was really handy. So I can definitely recommend you to be getting it uh, if you do loads of commercial jobs. Uh, I haven't tried the small one yet, so I can't say anything uh, about that yet. But uh, maybe in the future, we don't know. So that's it, guys. Thanks for watching. Please like and subscribe if you can. And I try to do more content from now on. So hopefully you like it. Chat to you again soon, guys.